Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. Uh, this one is for, what is this, April? Yeah, April. I know there's some more days left in the month, but um, I don't have any more money left. So this is this is what we're doing. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to jump right into it because this is probably going to be a long video. Um, I'm not sure if the review is already up for this one, but I got this one this month. Where the line bleeds. And if you don't watch the review of it, I give this sucker five stars. It's amazing. I read it as soon as it got here. I blew through it. No, I didn't blow through it. Um, I took my time with it. It's 239 pages, but uh, I think it took me like a week to read. I cherished every single word of it, and I suggest you do the same thing. All right, next up, um, one of the final... I think I need two more collections, and I'm finally done um, until he releases a new one. Haruki Mirakami's after the quake which is a super short collection of stories uh based on the what is it uh, the 1995 kobe earthquake kobe japan um he has it haruki mirakami has a new uh i almost said new albums <laughs> has a new book coming out called killing common commendatory or something like that um i don't know but uh, I'll leave a link down in the pre-order down in the doobly-doo. Uh, I have not read this one yet. Uh, the only one of his collections I read was The Elephant Vanishes. And I've left the collections for last to buy those. Because I wasn't too big of a fan of his short story work. Sorry. All right, next up is one I have a little bit of a story for. Uh, I ordered a hardcover of this one. Uh, Fuminori Nakamura's Evil and the Mask. Um, you'll notice this is a paperback. You'll also notice this is an advanced review copy. Um, these guys aren't supposed to be selling advanced review copies. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Um, but I contacted Amazon. The seller uh, refunded my money. Uh, the reason why I got this one instead of the hardcover is because the ISBN, for this, you see it doesn't even have a barcode. The ISBN for these books, um, these advanced review copies, are, um, excuse me, are for the hardcovers so they end up sending out these and I'm really upset because neither the author nor the publisher ever saw any money for this and the publisher seemed like it wasn't that big of a deal they're like okay well since we didn't send you the right the correct copy the hardcover we'll just give you your money back because we don't have another one and even Amazon was like what's the big deal we gave you a refund um guys you're not supposed to sell these you're not. So, I mean, you can, don't, you can donate them, you can give them to a friend, but you really shouldn't even do that because whoever you donate to, like Goodwill or charity shops or whatever, they're going to end up selling them. They're not supposed to be sold. So, next up, that's a, uh, I don't know if you guys, The Thief, I did a review on the channel for it. Um, that is part of that series. The next one I got, I actually got what I wanted, was The Kingdom by Fuminori Nakamura. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. But uh, this one is a sister novel to his uh, book, The Thief. So um, I'm hoping to get to this. He's got another book coming out called uh, Club X that I'm super excited for. That joker is like 800 pages long, so I'm looking forward to that one. Next one is one that I'm almost finished with that I almost DNF'd. Um, I didn't buy this, though. This one came from Atria Publishing, Simon & Schuster. Uh, there is their parent company. Uh, I reviewed Carolina Kepnes's Providence, and I got a connection with them, so a contact with them. Um, and they uh, emailed me, asked me if I wanted to read this one and the sequel, Us Against Them, I think it's called. Um, anyway, so I'll be getting that one closer to its publication date. But this one is pretty good so far. Um, I almost did not finish it based on the first, like, 60-some-odd pages. And then it got really, really good, and I'm almost done with it. Um, let me show you guys my... I like this. You inspire my inner serial killer. <laughs> That's pretty much what this book is doing to me. I want to kill everybody in the book except for like a handful of characters. Alright, next up, um, two of these, one of one was a gift from a friend, and the other two were uh, from Books A Million's Clearance Isle. This is The Flamethrowers by Rachel Kushner. Um, I don't know anything about this book other than a little bit of what I read. Um, it says, Rachel Kushner's first novel, Telex from Cuba, was nominated for a National Book Award. I'm all about some National Book Awards. 
uh, and reviewed on the cover of the New York Times book review. Her second novel, even more ambitious and brilliant, is the riveting story of a young artist and the worlds she encounters in New York and Rome in the mid-1970s by turns underground, elite, and dangerous. That sounds like my jam all over the place. And can somebody tell me, doesn't that look like, uh, what is it, Planet of the Cave Bear? The, the lady on the front of it with the, the face paint? I mean, it, sure, it looks that way to me, but uh, we'll see. I'll, t I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next one is one that was on my radar for the longest time, and I found it for five bucks at BAM, so I went ahead and I grabbed it. Micheline. This is about twins. That's all I really know, but here's the thing that sold me. Uh, Konar is an astonishing and fearless writer with incan incantatory magic. She marches through the most nightmarish of landscapes, swinging her light. That that sounds good. I know it's just a blurb and we can't always trust blurbs, but that sounds awesome. And it's about twins. I like stories about twins. Um, let's see here. Mischling uh, means hybrid half-breed used by the Third Reich to denote a person of mixed blood. So, yeah, it sounds like my family. So, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that one is and I'll let you guys know. Last, but certainly not least, uh, this author is, this is a funny story behind this. This author I first saw on Twitter. She put up a video of uh, her just straight up geeking out over the fact that her book was coming out. Um, that And she ended up getting um, a copy of it and she unboxed it. And just her her passion and her, her gleeful nature. She was like a kid opening up a present on Christmas Day. I was like, I want to support this person because that's obviously somebody who's in love with their craft has worked really hard to get there. I don't want to murder this name, but it's Tommy Adami. I'm sorry, I don't I'm apologize if you if you happen upon this. Children of Blood and Bone. Now I'm not a huge sci-fi or fantasy fan, um, and I think this is YA also. So those are three boxes um, that I don't <laughs> normally like, but my wife's back here smiling at me. If I don't like it, she'll, she'll end up reading it. But I want, I want to give it a try just because she seems like such a cool person, and that's what, that's what drew me in. Uh, I think uh, Entertainment Weekly said that she's the next J.K. Rowling, but I mean in that sense every new children, not children, but any new middle grade or YA magic you know, anything like that is the next J.K. Rowling. So I'll let you guys know. I'm definitely going to read it. In fact, I think I'm going to buddy read it with a friend of mine. Um, she mentioned she wanted to read it. So have you guys read any of these books? Do you guys have your own April book haul? Let me know all that stuff and whatever you want else you want to tell me down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been April's book haul. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.